Hey everybody, today is the day that I'm going to do the Kodiak truck tent. And we're doing it on a, a small bed, five foot bed, Chevy Colorado. And uh, yeah, I got the truck tent. Here's the box. And I must say it is pretty heavy. It's 50 pounds or so. I think it's 50 pounds. Uh, so... Yeah, it's not uh, the lightest tent, but we're here for quality, not lightness, because we're truck camping, right? And I did watch a few YouTube videos, and I'm, I got a tonal cover, so I ended up getting a four and a half inch uh, C clamps that can uh, go inside that. So I haven't opened this up. I just opened the box. I haven't took anything out yet. And uh, it's going to be my first time doing it, but I did uh, watch some YouTube videos on it. I also got some uh, magnets because if you're at the if you're at the low end of the bed, so this mid-sized truck bed goes from uh, five to six foot beds. So I'm a five foot bed, so it's at the low end, so you're going to get like a foot of slack space. So in that case, you're going to want uh, magnets to prevent the bugs from coming in. So let's unbox this thing. Okay. Let's see what we got. Got a carrying case. I don't think that tent will fit in it. It's kind of small. Here's the canvas tent. Well, it's not too bad by itself. Uh, the whole box is kind of heavy and unwielding, but uh, the tent itself is not too bad. I wonder how I'm going to fit that tent in this bag. It doesn't come close. Why don't they give you an extra large bag? That's one thing I don't like with tents is that uh, putting the back in. They always give you a bag that just fits just perfect. So these I think are the posts. These are the rails. And we got some instructions. So if we look at the instructions. Uh, keep all flame sources away from the tent but you see people using the uh, propane heaters but yeah it's going to be winter camping tent we're going to be using uh, probably diesel heater for the winter time um yeah it's got some warnings component checklist and we got some assembly instructions and i heard the way they write the rules of how to do this uh, it's not, it's not the best way to do it, according to some YouTube videos. So we're going to see how that goes. I'm going to just read these over anyways, and then we'll get started. So here's the poles. And there's the C-clamps to give you. And I was thinking that maybe this is the tent bag. This big thing. The tent would fit in that. But no, because uh, they said it comes with a tent bag and a pole bag. The poles definitely don't fit in this bag. So that must be the tent bag. But then look at the difference. There's still like six inches to eight inches left over. Unless you fold it up differently than what they have it folded up, but that doesn't, I guess that's what they mean. Maybe you fold it up differently, but uh, yeah, because there's no way it's going in like that. Just wish they would have gave you a bigger tent bag, but okay, so I guess we're starting with these rails here. Here's the rails up close, and it's nice that they put some foam on it. Now, um, I got a tonal cover. And I guess you should take this off. Uh, I could take it off, but I don't really want to. I'm thinking that, you know, the tent can just go behind that. Uh, well, I'm going to try and see what happens anyway. See if I could set it up with 
out taking this thing off because I, I take this off and I got to store it. And I think it'd just be more of a pain. So let's see if I could set it up with it. So we got the rails here. And it says, um, normally you'd go like start it off with nine inches behind. Um, but uh, if you got like a short bed, like less than six feet, they said go, you should go all the way back towards the tailgate. I don't, I'm wondering, should I go all the way back here? Or should I go here? Let's start there. Because if it doesn't work, then uh, I guess you got to try and move that later. So, and then we're going to take... Uh, C clamps uh, with the screw side down or else it won't connect and I guess we're gonna put it near both ends I guess this is the closest I can get there Problem is it's hard to well I got this thing perfect. I didn't realize that. Okay, not too tight I guess. I don't want to fucking crack the thing. This is not, it's not going anywhere anyways. This thing at the bottom moves, so if it hit the wall, you could uh, just pull it in more. gonna work on the first try probably not nothing ever does there I'll do the other side okay so I didn't show you what else I got I got the Napier uh, strap protectors that protect the paint of your truck worth the investment only 25 on Amazon and I got the magnets on Amazon too uh, these ones are probably too strong maybe they're 30 pound force but yeah, they're hard to get apart, but uh, I'm thinking the cloth, I could just pull it off. But we'll see if they're too strong or not. Uh, next, we're going to put together the poles. They just slide together. We got two awning poles. Uh, they have the spike on them. Uh, that's, that's a regular pole. And the longer awning pole is the one that goes on the tailgate. Now, the rest of the poles are all the same size. And uh, on the internet, they say uh, put the, the poles in the tent first, or in the bed. In the instructions, it says after. And now we're going to unfold the tent. Okay, let's get this tent going. I don't know how it is. I know this is the floor. So 
that's the front. if this is the right way. I know that's a floor. Okay, I think that's how it goes. Straps on the on the outside. So I think we want to open the doors first. side. Very nice zippers. Yeah, let me let me show you the quality of this stuff. Can't tell you how good it feels. Oh, we got a shadow on here. The zippers nice and thick. And it feels nice and strong. The stitching's nice. Even the mesh is kind of thick too. Durable. Okay, so I'm gonna go and get inside. Okay, I'm gonna do what the instructions say not to do. I'm gonna put the poles up first before the straps. One pole. <laughs> yeah. Well, also on the internet, they say we should put the awning poles in first before you do that. And I didn't do that. Um, let's see, so far, looks like a mess. 
Let's do the awning poles and then I'm going to strap it in. Okay, I think it, yeah, it's probably better to, to put the straps on after. I'm trying to, because you could position it, move it, move it around. But I think the one reason why this one strap on the end here is connected to this strap. So I had to uh, lift up the pole to push it out, right? So uh, we're going to do... I'm not sure if it'll work with that tonal cover on there, but uh, we'll see. We will see. I got, I'm got. going to do the back awning because it should have done this first. But. Okay, we're going to find out where you do it. You do it on the outside. Uh, there's a little flap there. I guess you got to stick in. Feed it through. And then there's a, should be a, a hole to stick the spike in. I guess we uh, do the corner straps. Say you're supposed to bring this right to the corner. Put that around. And this is supposed to go underneath the bumper. Now we're going to attach the side hooks. Try to, anyways. I'm not going to put the Napier straps on yet. I'm going to actually do that before I tear it down. I just want to get the thing going. This goes over here.
know, maybe. <laughs> maybe this goes underneath here. Yeah. Okay, so now I think she's set up. I'll just give you a good look and I'll, then I'll save the problems. So, it's pretty, well, it's not exactly centered. Oh, yeah, see I put the straps on here for the thing. It helps hold it in place. Um, I just gotta put that, this one on. I'm one handed right now. <laughs> Okay, and yeah, I'm not going to open the windows up because I'm taking her right down after this. So it kind of works with the tonal covers we left behind. Um, see, there's a little hole there, but I, I'm going to lose those pockets and I'm going to lose this window. I could always open the window, but I don't got a window anyways uh, in my truck. <laughs> So it does work with the, keeping the tunnel cover on. And uh, and if you notice, if I bring, uh, there's one of the problems because look at that hole. You know, bugs are just going to fly in there. It's because of this thing. I figured the tailgates would be longer, right? So they say bring that to the front of the tailgate. That's what I did. Like that. And it's no good. So what I did is I just pulled it back a little bit here on this side. And as you can see, it covers the hole. But blocks here. But this is where the magnets are going to come in handy. And I'm going to get them out right now. Okay, I just did the other side. So... So just remember that you can always adjust it to try to block the holes. Okay, so now here's my magnets. And I'm gonna like put one probably here. Can I take it off? Because it's yeah, it comes off. I guess you do need the 30 pound magnets. Actually then Yeah, it comes off easy when you pull on the tart. So I'm gonna probably go like that. I got, uh, I forget how many I got, like 24 of them, like, like a buck each. Just for an example, maybe I'll even buy any more. And then on the outside, they like here. Here's where it's really, really open. So, now you get enough of them, right? And then you can just lift them off. <laughs> you don't want to get it on straight. Yeah. And you gotta pull it off and it might scratch your truck, so keep it on the <laughs> on the fabric. And I recommend just put it on one roll of fabric. Don't have it on like a couple layers, because then it won't stick as well. And so how does that look? How does that look? Lots of room. I guess it's not that straight in the center, but Let's, let's check the inside gaps. You gotta see the gaps there. I just gotta fill those gaps with magnets. Probably other ways to do it. And I guess over time, uh, I might get some more ideas. You know, I might get some more ideas. But I, I'm not done with this yet. So what I'm gonna do, you see how I got my wheel wells there. They take up so much room that if I'm going to put like a, a mattress there or sleeping pads, I only got 44 inches across. 
and uh, that's not a lot of room. So to fix this problem, I'm going to actually kill two birds with one stone here, because usually when you when you go camping, you have uh, lots of junk in the truck, and then you got to take it out, put the tent up, and then where do you put the junk? You got to put it in the truck, I guess, or store it. But here, I'm going to build the subfloor. So I'm going to go over the wheel wells. I'm going to measure before I take this down. I'm going to measure. How far I got to come out to here? It's got to be in two parts. Like the one's just got to be in the bed, and then it's going to be like a hinged, and it'll come to here. And underneath it, I could store stuff, like have drawers, pull them out and store stuff. And at the top, I'll have the full length, the width of the bed, uh, for more. Like that's that's a lot of extra room. That's probably a foot and a half if you add those two in there. So. That's what I'm going to do, and uh, that's what you probably see on the next video. So thank you for watching. That's the Kodiak truck tent on a Chevy Colorado with a five-foot bed. Get some looks at it here from a distance. Uh, not bad for the first try. Uh, like I said, you're going to definitely want to set it up at home. Uh, first, uh, it's not too bad, but you got to get the feel for it. And But I'm going to leave you with a, a time lapse of me taking it down. See you next time. Bye-bye. I almost forgot. I'm supposed to hose it down to seal the seams. to do that once.